Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with DevCentral, and in this Lightboard lesson, we're going to talk about Nginx Service Mesh. So uh, before we get into all the details of that, I wanted to tell you uh, just a quick overview of what a Service Mesh is. So a Service Mesh is a way to control how different parts of an application share data with one another. Uh, so this is, a, uh, this is a dedicated infrastructure layer that's built right into the application. Um, and then this can document how well or how not well different parts of an application interact with one another. So then you can, you can optimize, you can avoid downtime, you know, those kinds of things with a, uh, with a service mesh. Um, so I wanted to draw kind of a quick picture here of what a service mesh, um, you know, the simplified version of what it would maybe look like. Um, as I do this, I'll mention the adoption of Kubernetes is significantly on the rise, and that's a, that's a huge part of the service mesh conversation. Uh, so in a Kubernetes cluster, uh, you'll have uh, traffic, um, and I'll just put traffic up here, that comes into maybe, uh, maybe an ingress controller. So I'll say uh, ingress is here. And then, uh, and then you may have uh, various, uh, various you know, locations that traffic is destined for. So let's say you have like, you know, info.example.com. And then let's say you also have, you know, example.com uh, slash, you know, one, two, three, whatever. And then let's say you have, you know, some other destination over here. Okay. So as traffic comes in, the ingress controller is going to, uh, to handle you know, kind of that layer seven, but as the traffic flows to the various locations, um, you know, it may flow down here to a service that is connected to the info.example.com, and then you may have you know, various pods um, that are tied to that as well. And then the same thing over here. So you have uh, a service here that's defined with various pods, so I'll just put like say three on each of these and then likewise over here. So service uh, with, you know, pod, pod, and pod, all right? And this is a Kubernetes cluster. So uh, Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so um, here you're going to have traffic, you're going to have, you know, traffic will flow to various pods, maybe traffic's coming to this service, uh, and it's destined, you know, for these, and so forth and so on. I'll just, you know, put some different, you know, lines as this goes. Okay, so the, uh, the uh, service mesh uh, certainly is dealing with uh, what I'll call layer three, four networking at like these locations right here. And then as well, you have layer seven, so I'll just put L7 uh, logic. So this would be the ingress portion, so uh, layer seven logic um, up here as traffic enters. Um, and the service mesh, I'm just gonna draw like a, like a big circle around like maybe this portion right here, okay? Uh, this, is, this is where the heart of the service mesh is going to happen. And again, it, it, uh, it helps different parts of the application communicate and know what the other parts of the application are doing, right? So, so that's kind of a very oversimplified picture of where the service mesh is, is focused and what it would you know, care about in a Kubernetes cluster. Um, but I wanted to talk about a few things about the Nginx service mesh specifically. So, uh, you know, you've got other, uh, other service mesh options out there, um, but, uh, but some things that set Nginx service mesh apart or the things that, you know, are unique about the Nginx service mesh is that it, uh, it provides complete microservices traffic management and security, which frankly, this is all, this is all about security, right? Um, so the Nginx service mesh is, is, uh, is focused on east-west traffic, like sidecar traffic, but also north-south traffic, like Nginx uh, Kubernetes ingress controller, uh, both ingress and egress. Uh, some, some other service meshes will really focus on the control plane uh, and, then, and then look at the data plane uh, components as like a commodity. Um, but the Nginx service mesh uh, believes that the data plane is very important, and so we need to focus there. Um, so complete microservices, traffic management, and security. Uh, you can define security policies, you can enforce security policies, you can govern security policies. So it, uh, the Nginx service mesh allows you to do all of that. It's also a turnkey solution 
and it's platform agnostic. So with other solutions, you need to kind of piece them together. They're very heavy. Um, you know, you've got to you got to get a piece here, a piece there, whatever to to kind of build the entire mesh. Uh, but with Nginx Service Mesh, every everything you need is included. There's no need to piecemeal it all together. Um, you can run Nginx Service Mesh in any Kubernetes environment anywhere. So uh, it does not matter. So it's turnkey. It's platform agnostic. And then I'll just I'll just mention as well. Uh, when you take the power of F5 and Nginx as traffic management leaders in the world, uh, you, what you're doing is you're bringing the world's best software reverse proxy now to container traffic management. And so just inherently, that's going to be a very powerful uh, thing you know, to do with uh, when it comes to, to service mesh. Um, there's a few things that I wanted to mention too in terms of the, the focus of Nginx service mesh. Uh, so I'm going to say, and I'll just kind of write a little list here. Um, so I'll say secure traffic. And these are just kind of little points that I'm going to make. So Nginx Service Mesh brings, uh, brings to it end-to-end -end encryption. So we're talking about mutual TLS, uh, access control list, those things. So you're, so you're going to have secure traffic with this. Um, also orchestration. So here's orchestration. Orchestration, injection, and sidecar management, um, Kubernetes API integration. So you can orchestrate traffic here with uh, Nginx Service Mesh. It also brings, um, I'm going to say, uh, traffic management. So I'll just put traffic management here. So traffic management, uh, we're talking about like load balancing, circuit breaker, rate limiting. You can manage all of your service traffic with the Nginx service mesh and then uh, and then finally I'll put uh, I'll put traffic measurement all right because we all want to measure our traffic right so you can uh, you can generate transaction traces with nginx service mesh uh, you can real time monitor your traffic so this is this is where you can measure and monitor um, the uh, the traffic with nginx service mesh uh, so as a uh, as kind of a uh, wrap up here uh, just wanted to highlight again that Nginx Service Mesh delivers a lightweight, agile mesh for DevOps, right? So we're focused on that. Uh, this is a stronger, faster, easier mesh. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's in the, the lightweight mesh market, if you will. Uh, and then, like I said before, you know, a lot of, a lot of other meshes are concerned with control plane. Um, but we want to we highlight the fact that a lightweight mesh um, is, uh, you know, some people think that a lightweight mesh is only concerned about east-west traffic, but we want to highlight the fact that a mesh should be concerned about microservice traffic management, both north-south and east-west. So, uh, so that's what Nginx Service Mesh is going to do uh, for you. So, uh, so I hope you've learned a few things about Nginx Service Mesh here in this, uh, this Lightboard lesson video. Hey, if you like this thing, you can click up here on our Dev Central logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.